What's going on guys, this is Mr. DeLorean here, welcome back to a brand new video, and today what I want to do is talk about The Walking Dead, World Beyond Season 2, Episode 6, Jadis' Return, and everything we heard and now know about Rick. So it's not a secret at this point that Jadis was officially brought back in Season 2, Episode 5 of The Walking Dead, World Beyond, which was a really big reveal, and probably the first big reveal, probably the biggest reveal, reveal we've had in The Walking Dead, World Beyond so far, and probably is officially the only connection we've had to The Walking Dead main show, and it connects to the rest of the universe, which is really 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 weird since it's like a show that was introduced to connect all three shows or to like you know show us a bigger aspect of all like you know the shows which was in fact the serum but so far up until this point we've gotten no really big connections to the walking dead main show or fear the walking dead although we do know by the end of the walking dead world beyond season two aka the series for now that we will be getting a connection to the walking dead or fear the walking dead season seven which is really cool and something i can't wait for but without further ado let's hop right into the video so as i mentioned before it's no secret that jadis was officially brought back into the walking the universe in episode 5 of the walking dead world beyond season 2 which was absolutely awesome but in episode 6 is when we finally got to learn about where she's been what she's been up to and finally deep dive into her and everything more about her and learn about where she's been all these years so basically throughout the entire episode of the walking dead world beyond season 2 episode 6 basically not much happens until the end of the episode near the end of the episode when huck and jadis are basically having a talk over some drinks about what basically the two have been up to over the past years now starting off at what we did learn about jadis and everything and our whole return and basically what's been going on this time is Jadis basically does talk about how it's been six years or how it's been like six years since she's like you know been to the CRM or been away from like you know where she was before which obviously I think it was detailed that between The Walking Dead season 9 and The Walking Dead season 10 that there was a six year time jump which obviously in The Walking Dead like you know actually no I think I think it was season 9 episode 5 to season 9 I mean episode 6 I think it was the 10 year time jump or the six year time jump which obviously episode 5 is when Rick left and and then in episode six is when I think we have that like you know ten year or six year time jump, which is obviously when Jay just left in episode five, which makes sense that now she's saying like you know oh, oh I've been here for six years or oh, I've ever since I left six years ago. And Jay just does mention like you know the society that she did build with people in the past, like you know obviously like you know Rick's community, Alexandria, like, the Hilltop, the Kingdom. She does bring up that she did like you know lose her entire group of people, obviously the dumpster kind of like you know theater weird community. She did lose those people because she made the wrong alliances, which obviously she was with Negan's group and everything how she like you know fucked with Simon obviously like you know was like lighted up now and basically killed her entire group which I shouldn't be laughing about or anything but you know it happened but she basically talks about that and what's very interesting is how she kind of talks about how she made her like you know dumpster group and everything or her like you know theater weird group she basically talks about how she like you know created this entire new language for her people made it all sound like or be like theater which is very interesting because we never really did get to learn about why her group and her and all of them talk so weirdly and like you know her group like you know her dumpster group how they all went like you know he they there and thy and everything basically talked like Shakespeare and everything we never really learned about that and why but we finally did learn that she kind of made it to make her make her group seem like they're like you know different from everyone else like to make everyone feel closer in her like you know dumpster group which was very interesting to finally learn about the ideology and like you know why they all did that and everything and even learn more about like you know her group and even learn more about like you know what happened before the Walking Dead world beyond with Jadis but it was overall just very interesting to hear Jadis basically mention like you know her past life before the CRM and everything and basically talking about like you know Rick, Alexandria and all those communities. But now moving on to the big cheese which I don't know why I really called it that or anything but moving on to the biggest part of this video is information regarding Rick Grimes. Which to be perfectly honest is the main reason a lot of people are still watching this show is because they want to find out how this all connects. You know with the CRM, Rick Grimes, The Walking Dead main show, The Walking Dead World Beyond and Fear the Walking Dead. So basically Jadis did say the reason she is at the CRM and the or more so the reason she was able to even get into the CRM as like you know an officer or a leader or whatever it she is she did basically say that she gave the CRM something valuable something of valuable or something of value to help them which obviously that's something of value was Rick Grimes and everything a soldier that they could use and everything in their military which I'm not sure why that's considered something like you know valuable since they already have like thousands hundreds of thousands of soldiers already so basically what makes Rick so valuable in the first place like why is he such an asset to the CRM now obviously a small really little theory is that he holds the cure which is a, like you know an ending theory to the walking dead universe that Rick like or Andrew Lincoln did mention at a walking dead expo is that like you know he was the cure to the walker virus and anything which is really funny but I strongly doubt that that's like you know the main reason or like you know what makes Rick such a valuable asset I do feel it's because he's like you know a really good fighter or anything and that's like you know what makes him such a valuable asset or anything the fact that he has possibly information on a new group 
or at least a new group to the CRM, which is basically like, you know, the Alexandrian, the Hilltop, the Kingdom, and the Commonwealth communities. Although Rick doesn't have anything really on the Commonwealth since he never really met them in the first place. But that was all I really want to talk about with the Walking Dead World Beyond Season 2 Episode 6, Jadis' return. And basically, that was everything we did here about Rick and Jadis in her past life when she was with her group and everything. I do want to make some reviews on the Walking Dead World Beyond, although one big issue is it just kind of, there isn't really, besides this episode, there really wasn't, isn't much to really review or talk about, in my opinion. Since the season has been kind of moving really slow, don't get me wrong, I've been enjoying it a decent amount, but it feels like it's been moving pretty slow, which slow is usually fine, but it's the last season of the show, and it's getting to the end of the season. It, like, we're already going into episode 7, and we're now just getting to the point where it's like, oh, we're now gonna start a war. We're now gonna burn this place to the ground, which is just kind of like, like I said, there isn't really much to talk about besides what did happen in this episode with Jadis and Rick and, like, you know, this episode in general. But as we do get into learning more about Rick and everything, how the shows do connect and everything, basically do expect more content from me on, like, you know, the Walking Dead world beyond the Walking Dead universe. Since I've been kind of absent on it lately, since obviously, like, you know, I've been talking about Chucky, Spider-Man, all that and everything, but I do want to get back into the Walking Dead, like, you know, universe. But like I said, not much has really been happening or anything. I do want to get into more reviews, but I do think for the Walking Dead world beyond, I'm going to wait till the season's over, or at least until something really big or interesting happens, like more Rick stuff and or anything, or just, like, you know, an actual war starting or big deaths in the Walking Dead world beyond. And I do want to talk about Fear the Walking Dead some more, I think, so basically do expect some more Walking Dead universe content from me, like, you know, in the future, or even, like, maybe later this week, if more does come out, more happens. But yeah, that was all I had for you guys and everything today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more latest in the Walking Dead universe and more breakdowns, theories, reviews, explain videos, and all more stuff like this. Make sure to comment down below if there was anything that I did miss in the episode, like more Rick Grimes stuff and everything, or more maybe stuff that you did hear about Jadis' past, like that maybe I missed and didn't mention in this video. And also make sure to just comment down below how hyped you are to hear more about Rick and everything. Are you excited about what we already did here and everything? And just in general, make sure to comment down below some stuff. Let's start a discussion down below in the comments about just like, you know, all this cool stuff in general and everything. Because like I said, the Rick Grimes stuff definitely has me really hyped. And yeah, see you guys later. Peace my amigos and peace out.